Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. This time we're going to be learning about how to round to the nearest tenth. As you can see we have three important things we need to remember when rounding decimals to the nearest tenth. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line after the number in the tenths place. So if you can imagine we have a decimal point right here, we have digits after the decimal. Okay, This spot right here, this is called the tenths place. And this spot right here, this is called the hundredths. Now, what we want to do is we want to draw a line after the tenths. This line reminds us that we're rounding to that number. So we're rounding to the tenths spot, which will be right in front of that line. The second thing we need to remember is that if the number after our line is five or higher, you round the tenths up. So if the number in the hundredths place is five or higher, which would be five to nine, you're going to round up. The third thing we need to know is that if the number after your line is four or less, so that would be zero to four, you keep it the same. So that means you keep it the same, so it stays the same. In this case, when we're rounding, we're rounding to the tenths position, which means we're trying to make a number that is as close to that tenths value as possible. If the number in the hundredths place value is five to nine, that means that we have to round this 10 up and if it's from 0 to 4, that means it's kind of low, and we keep the tenths the same. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Alright, so let's get to work and get started doing some practice problems on rounding to the nearest tenth. So here we are at our first problem. It gives us 5.468. Now we're rounding to the tenths value, which would be the first digit after the decimal point. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line right here. I know that I'm rounding to this 4, so it's 5.468. This 6 is going to tell me whether this 4 stays the same or it rounds up. Now the 6 is greater than 5. That means that this 4 has to round up. So we're going to round up because of the 6. So this 6 is going to round the 4 up. So we're going to say 5.5 because the 4 is now a 5 now. And then all the numbers after that rounding turn to 0. So now it's just 5.5. And then when we write our answer, we're going to write 5.5. And we're not going to include any of the zeros because they represent a value of nothing. So we don't actually need to write them. So the final solution is just going to be 5.5. Moving on to the second practice problem. This problem gives us 46.738. Now remember we're rounding to the nearest tenth, so the tenth is this first number after the decimal point. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my line just to remind myself what we're rounding to. And I'm going to look at the number behind that line. In this case, this 3 is less than 5, so it's between 0 and 4 which means that this 7 doesn't change and it stays the same. So I'm going to write stays the same here. So when I rewrite my number for rounding, I'm going to keep 46.7 because the 3 means the 7 is going to stay the same. And then the two numbers after the 7 are going to turn to zeros at first because we're rounding to that tenths value. So we're going to round 3, 8 down to 0, 0 because it needs to round to the tenths. And then when I write my final answer, I don't include the zeros because they represent a value of nothing, so I don't actually have to write them. So our final solution is going to be 46.7. And you can see the last number that we have is our tenths value. Finally, our last question gives us 7.352. Now we need to round to the nearest tenth, so that's one spot after the decimal, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my line here. And now we have a 5 in the hundredth spot. Now 5 is typically the most confusing because it's right in the middle. And sometimes people get confused if that's going to round the number up or if it's going to stay the same. Now the number 5 is closer to the number 9 than it is to the number 0. This means that it's going to make our number round up. So we're going to round the 3 up to a 4. So when I rewrite this... I'm going to write 7 point, and then we have 3, but actually the 5 rounds the 3 up, so this 3 is going to turn into a 4, and then I'm going to write zeros for 5 and 2. 
So when I rewrite my final answer, it's just going to be 7.4 because like I said in the other problems, I don't have to include the zeros. So 7.352 rounded to the nearest tenth is going to be 7.4 because the 5 rounds the 3 up to a 4. And if you want to do some practice on rounding decimals to the nearest tenth, go ahead and click the link here in the video and it will take you to some practice questions that will give you a grade based on how you did. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!